Large steel tub girders sitting overhead on concrete hammerhead pier caps are an impressive sight when traveling on US 98 near 23rd Street in Bay County. Bridges and ramps are a principal component of the 23rd Street flyover project. The steel girder beams support the bridge deck or roadway surface and are responsible for transferring the load down to the foundation. To build the eastbound US 98 bridge, contractors have set massive steel tub girders, also called beams, on top of hammerhead pier caps. Due to their weight and size, steel tub girders require specialized tractor trailers to deliver them to the construction zone. When all sections, braces, and attachments are pieced together, each steel tub girder weighs several tons. The Florida Department of Transportation is committed to worker safety. Steel tub girders are set on hammerhead pier caps using a rigging system specifically designed to lift each beam safely above the ground. After the steel tub girder beams are aligned and positioned, a splice plate or thick metal sheet is added to reinforce the connection between the beams. Splice plates have multiple bolt holes on the outside, inside, top, and bottom sides of each girder beam. Once these holes are aligned, bolts are installed prior to tensioning or tightening the bolt, ensuring a secure connection that maintains the structural integrity of the bridge. Access holes in the bottom of each girder allow for future entry and maintenance protocols. When completed, the 23rd Street flyover project will elevate US 98 over 23rd Street and the Bayline Railroad. These improvements will provide continuous movement along US 98. You can follow the 23rd Street flyover's construction progress on Facebook and Instagram at My23RdStreetFlyover or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 Public Information Office.